We finally know when Amazon is going to launch the first two Project Kuiper broadband satellites. Hi, I'm Chris here with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on Project Kuiper. This is Amazon's massive broadband satellite constellation that they're aiming to eventually compete with Starlink. So they've got FCC permission to launch over 3,000 satellites. They're planning to invest $10 billion into building out this giant constellation to bring, well, to bring broadband service to unserved parts of the globe. Alexa everywhere, basically, you could think of it. And, um, you know, fast internet. They've shown off a small 12-inch uh, uh, antenna system. All sorts of really, really cool technology. But, well, the biggest catch with Kuiper is we've been tracking it since 2019 and there's been not a whole lot to report as yet. But we've got two updates here for the end of 2021 to show that Amazon is actually making some progress with Kuiper. First up, they actually have their first customer to announce. They have actually announced a partnership jointly with Verizon where Verizon will be using Kuiper as the backhaul from remote um, um, cell sites in to bring 5G speeds to some really remote rural areas where it's too expensive to bring fiber optic cables. So Kuiper will be the hookup to these cell towers in some remote areas and then that will share 5G for Verizon customers. Nothing exclusive about the deal for Verizon side or Kuiper side, but at least Kuiper has convinced some customer that what they're building is real. So when will Kuiper actually start launching? That's the other new announcement. Amazon has just put up their first blog post talking about Kuiper in a, roughly a year. And this time they're talking about they've now scheduled the first two Kuiper prototype satellites to launch. And the date? Q4 2022. So still a year from now, they're going to launch two prototype satellites, which will let them test out the systems they've been designing in the lab to make sure that they work in space, the satellite design is good, the ground terminal to uh, satellite communication works out, and all of the rest. So two satellites coming Q4 2022 so they can test the system, which means, well, when will Kuiper be real? When will, will real customers be able to get it? When will they be pricing and other actual details? Well, if they're not launching the prototypes till Q4 2022, that means it's probably at least until Q4 2023 before they're ready to start launching the real satellites. And then it's going to take a while to get enough of them up into orbit before they are be able to actually launch a service. Now, Amazon does have a deadline. They have infinite money, but they do have a deadline um, with the FCC. Their license expires if they're not able to launch half their constellation, so 1,800 satellites by mid-2026. So they got to get the move on and start getting out there if they ever actually want Kuiper to amount to anything. Definitely worth watching because, well, Amazon has infinite money. They're throwing a lot of people and a lot of resources at this, but definitely nothing to worry about anytime soon. And well, basically SpaceX has a really, really huge head start with Starlink. Maybe will, will, will all of Amazon's money be able to make them catch up? We will have to wait and see. So we'll be watching Kuiper. Stay tuned for more details. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.